Welcome back to the second part of the tutorial on our femur where we're going to finish off with the features we will find on the lower half of the bone. So let's jump right back into it with the medial and lateral supracondylar lines which we will find on the posterior aspect of the bone. I'll just highlight them here. So we've got the medial line and the lateral supracondylar lines. A supracondylar meaning more superior to our condyles that are located at the end of the bone. And these lines are just roughened uh, surfaces that act as tendon attachment points. Now the next feature we're going to take a look at, I've highlighted in green here, and it's called the intercondylar fossa. Now the intercondylar fossa is just a depression between our two condyles that act as uh, the attachment point for our cruciate ligaments. So cruciate ligament attachment. On the lateral or outer sides of our femur here, I've just highlighted in red, the lateral epicondyle, which is going to act as a ligament attachment point and also helps to form part of our uh, joint capsule with the uh, specific ligament that attaches there. So functionally, that's going to help form our knee joint. Now on the inner or medial surface of the bone, we can see in purple our medial epicondyle. And the medial epicondyle is uh, a much larger protuberance than the lateral epicondyle and is a point of tendon attachment. Now the medial epicondyle also has another structure that goes along with it. That's called the adductor tubercle. Now the adductor tubercle is just the uh, point on that bone which the adductor magnus muscle attaches to or the tendon of that muscle and it's just located here. So the tendon of the adductor magnus is going to uh, join here. Now we've done the epicondyles and we'll focus on the condyles now. The first one being the medial condyle that I've highlighted in yellow. Now the condyles are the part of the femur that are going to articulate with our patella. In the first part of this video I said these uh, facets that I've highlighted in red on the patella are going to articulate with the condyles and when you uh, flex your knee they are going to interact or well, your medial condyle is going to interact here and I'll show you where the lateral condyle which I've just highlighted in pink is going to articulate as well. So articulating with the patella and it's going to interact on the other side with the facet for the lateral condyle of the femur just there. The last structure we're going to look at on our femur is called the patella surface and I've highlighted it in blue on the anterior side of the bone. Now the patella surface is just going to be where we uh, accommodate our patella bone upon extension. Now when we've got our leg fully extended we need somewhere for the patella to sit. So it sits on that patella surface of the anterior femur. And then like I said before when we flex the knee the condyles that are underneath and towards the posterior of the femur then interact with those facets of the patella. And with that, we've covered everything we need to know about our femur. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Like always, thanks for watching and hopefully I see you again soon.